Dave from EDC101.com. I just got a hold of this Bushlore Mini by Condor. It's made out of 1075 high carbon steel, which means that it's a tough little blade. But the other thing that's tough about it is keeping it from rusting. For all intents and purposes, there's two types of rust. There's red rust, which is primarily made from hematite. That's the one that's going to cause pitting, flaking, and generally give you a headache. Now black rust, however, is primarily made from magnetite. When you see an old knife with a nice patina on it, that's actually a thin layer of magnetite forming on the blade. So in order to keep this knife from rusting, what we can do is force it to form a patina. What this basically is, is a thin layer of magnetite that's going to form on the top of this blade and it will actually help protect against red rust. All you're going to need for this little project is something you already have in your fridge. It's mustard. Now mustard's viscosity is going to keep it on the blade and its acidity is going to cause it to form a patina pretty quickly. Let's dive in. Now our first step is going to be to clean this blade off well. Uh, you can use nail polish remover or any kind of solvent that you have lying around the house. I just chose this because it was available. I wanted to make sure that there was no film or you know residue from the factory because this is a brand new blade so I gave it a good scrub. You're going to want to make sure that you clean off any fingerprints, any oils from your hand because they can actually prevent the patina from forming. Another option is alcohol. You know, if you have any prep pads or just standard rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip will work. But like I said, you're going to want to scrub it down and make sure that there is no piece of the metal that you've left because if you leave any oil on there or any residue from anything you were doing with it, um, the vinegar won't be able to get to the blade and it won't form a patina there. So you'll in effect be masking um, any patina from forming. Let's add some mustard. Now any kind of mustard will work, you know, store brand yellow mustard is the same as Grey Poupon. Um, what we really want out of the mustard is the vinegar content. That's what's going to cause the patina to form. Um, so what we're going to want to do is cover the entire portion of the surface that we want patina in mustard. You want to work it down into any indents, any manufacturer names. Um, basically make sure that the entire thing is covered. Now don't be scared, you can't screw this up. I mean, you can put as little or as much mustard on here as you want. You could stick this thing in a jar of mustard. Um, really, the goal is to get some vinegar on the blade and let it sit. That's what's going to form the patina. If you don't like it, you can always take it off. After you've covered both sides, you're going to want to wait about two hours. You know, a little more, a little less, it's not going to hurt anything. And, you know, the longer you wait, the darker the patina. This is after about two hours here. It's starting to form, you know, a light gray patina on the entire surface. Uh, it's almost got a graphite look to it. It's pretty evenly covered, which is good, which means that it's going to be protected, but I want it a little bit darker. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with another layer of mustard here. This time around, I'm going a little bit lighter. I'm trying to see the effect of, you know, varying degrees of mustard on it. You can play around. You can even make different patterns on it. If you wanted to make, you know, zebra stripes on it, uh, I've seen some cool examples online of people doing like a crisscross pattern, which comes out really nice. But for this knife, I just want something, you know, as even and as plain as possible. Uh, but even with this kind of even coating of it, it still comes out with some pretty cool patterning when we're done. I fell asleep, so this one was on there for about eight hours, which is good because it was, you know, had enough time to work. As you can see, you know, with the mustard still on it, you can see how dark it is through the mustard. So it's it's darkened up significantly. Um, 
I tried the whole thing. Uh, those brass posts were actually coated with something, and I didn't have a Brillo pad or anything to work that coating off. So that didn't do too much. Here's the blade after I rinsed it off. Now you're going to want to make sure that you rinse it off with water so it does neutralize the vinegar from, you know, any further chemical reaction. Uh, this time around it's a lot darker than it was. The eight hours definitely helped it. Um, so time is on your side. It does have some darker spots, which is where, you know, it kind of pulled around the you know the different thicknesses of the mustard when I put it on but I kind of like it it's almost got like a stone like appearance to it it's definitely a lot darker than it was when we started though let's take a closer look so you can see the different patina patterns that are forming on here you can see in the top right that's before and this is after the actual blade itself the sharpened portion of the blade Patina it a little bit different than the bead blasted uh, upper portion. Now the spine of the blade is, it, it has a pretty good patina on it, but it's not as dark as the, the bead blasted portion of this blade. So there you have it, a little bit of mustard and you could patina your own blade. You know, this goes, this works for Apinels, this works for SE blades, anything high carbon steel, anything that's not stainless. And this is a great way to protect your blade from surface rust. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you oil the blade. You're going to want to make sure you take care of it. But anything helps, and this will definitely help prevent the rust. Thanks again guys, be sure to like and subscribe and head on over to edc101.com for a little bit more in-depth look at the science behind patinas and how to protect your blade.